Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here and today I'll be doing a CBRO how-to video uh, tips and tricks pretty much. So in this video I'll be showing you guys how to play as CT and how to be better at CT. So let's get right into it. Before this video starts guys, can we smash 20 likes guys? That's going to be greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe subscribe for more content comment down below any more tips and tricks you guys want me to do and I'll be sure to do them so let's get into it all right so I'm playing on CT guys of course on dust 2 using my M4A1 and in this match I actually came back from a, a zero to nothing lead because this is just insane guys so I helped this team I just joined too and I helped this team out so I just got an ace it was pretty it was pretty easy at first it wasn't well at the end it was kind of hard but Pretty much, guys, what you guys want to do as CT is pretty much you want to not play aggressive. Playing aggressive will, like, make you lose, guys. Unless you, you're, you like, with a three-man squad, then go ahead and push. But, like, do not push when you're solo or when you're holding a site. I was holding down B site, and they all just tried pushing through mid, and they just failed. And then that's how I got this ace. But, but another thing is, guys, make sure you have your volume all the way up. If you guys start this... Uh, start of the video make sure you guys like you don't have to turn all the way up of course but like make it so you can hear the footsteps if you're actually trying to win but if you're just fooling around it doesn't matter what your volume is of course but if you want to actually win guys turn up for your volume I see lots of people say I don't need volume for CBRO all I hear is gunshots trust me guys you're gonna hear your footsteps you're gonna hear everything you're gonna look at where they are guys so it's pretty easy it's gonna be pretty easy for you if you can hear them and like for the last guy he was like all the way long I don't know what the hell he was doing but yeah, so let's move on to another tip. All right, so for this tip, it's actually being a t it's not being selfish at all, guys. So, what you guys want to do? If you see an AK on the ground and you have like an op for an M4, it sounds stupid at first if you guys don't really know like about the guns and stuff. But switch it, okay? I'm telling you, I switch the guns because I'm I'm certain that one of your teammates will know how to use the AK pretty good. The AK is like a really good gun to use for headshots and just like that, I just killed someone easily. I missed some, like some of my shots, but that's still fine. But Use it. Make sure you guys pick up the op. So if I'm on like T side, I'd pick up an M4A1 cause, or M4A4 because some people could be good with the M4A1 and not the AK. But it could be the other way around. People could be bad with the M4A1 and actually be good with the AK. So it's good to pick up the other team's guns that you can't actually buy on your shop. Like, so that's why you drop your AK. I mean, you drop your op for like an AK because if you're CT, of course. If you're T, that's kind of stupid because like you just lose like 300. Uh, not three. Ah. You just lose like two thousand dollars there, but let's move on to the next tip. All right, so for CT guys, you want to make sure you're actually fast and like you you're aware of what's happening. I yo know, I get so triggered when I see someone standing still CT and like like ho holding a corner that like, like it's pointless. If someone's planting the bomb, you hear it go off. You're the last one, and you just sit in a damn corner. Oh my god, you're gonna get your team so mad. I see this a lot guys, make sure you're aware of what's happening, look at the top, it'll tell you if the bomb is going, uh, if, if it's planted, it'll tell you how much time you have left, and with the time it actually brings me to another tip, and here it is, if you're losing a lot of CT, play for a time, oh my god, you guys need to play for a time, okay? I get you want to go for the kills, and if it's like a 1v1 situation, play for a time, like, you don't need a peek, you don't need, well, you only have to peek if they're rushing you, and you can hear it, like, if they're really close, but, like, just play for time, guys. If there's, like, 20 seconds left, a guy's going long to the A site, and he's going up ramp, uh, you don't, you could peek there, but, like, you don't need to peek when he's going long, unless you have a clear shot, and you're, you're like 110% sure you're gonna get that shot because if you die and there was like one second left oh boy you're gonna get yourself so pissed and your team pissed so make sure you guys play for time and just think about it like make sure you don't always have to peek, peek uh, don't peek if you don't have to okay only peek it when you have to of course so let's go into the next tip alright so for our next tip guys it's saving it's pretty much using your economy wisely okay I see people with 10k they're not even buying your teammates stuff and your teammates are like at 2k okay buy them SMGs guys or at least pistols okay I know you guys want to win but like it's a team game well I know this is CPRO and not CSGO but like I, I learned this from like CSGO not to be selfish guys and like make sure you guys share your money I know it sounds like stupid say oh why does he deserve my money well if you want to win you got to give him a gun guys give him at least like a P not P well P90 is like kind of expensive 2000 but like buy him like an MP9 guys on CT it'll do something good for your team so that's another tip guys using your economy wisely and making sure that you don't always max buy every single round save rounds okay if you lose a round make sure like you save the next round we'll save the round that's coming up after you lose so you could get some m4 with an 
uh, armor and not always SMGs with armor because uh, assault rifles are always better than SMGs unless you're a newbie using the P90. Alright, so here's another tip. Beating your opponent to where they're about to be. So say that guy going to upper tons. You see how I beat him to it and I didn't stay on site? I, I played aggressive smartly. So what I played when I played smartly is I already know he was going to push upper tons because he did it like every round. So I beat him to it. And then once I beat him to it, I, I like get ready for him. And then that's how you beat your opponent to it. And you could get a lot of kills off of that, guys. And then you could actually go like catwalk or wherever you guys want to go and try getting some other players. So let's move on to the next tip. Alright, so here's another tip, formation. If you're playing with a squad, like your clan, here's the best formation you could ever do. 2A, 2B, 1 mid. That's a, and that 1 mid carries in the scout or a op. That's a very good formation. Or if you stack a site with a smoke mid. I, I sometimes tell my team this, but they don't really get it because they don't really play CS, but uh, I try teaching them and stuff. When I, when I say stack mid, always someone has to smoke mid, so the other team sniper can't count how much you're going to the other site because in like actual CSGO they do that people uh that's a, the same thing with the T tip pretty much in the next video I'll do make sure you guys count how many go to B site and things like that or A site whatever it is so yeah that's the tip guys formation make sure you guys communicate with your team so let's go to the uh, uh, last few tips just like what's shown guys we have the bomb once you have the bomb protect that bomb do not go anywhere else but that bomb um that first kill i got was pretty trash with the pistol i have to admit that but aside from that once you guys have the bomb just make sure you guys hold your corners check your uh check everywhere and make sure there's no t people trying to come up and get the bomb and trying to plant it so that's pretty much just playing for time not trying to go hunt them they're gonna try to hunt you that's why you try to defend it so let's move on to the last tip all right guys so for the last tip it's making sure why you're going on CT. CT is like for more of the skilled pl players. On that's just my opinion. Because if you're CT, you'll have to know how to be fast. Uh, make sure you defuse the bomb fast. Because when you're T side, it's more easier. Well, depending on, on some maps, because some maps could be T side, some maps could be CT side. But if you're if you're trying to farm credits, I'd say you go to T side. But if you're trying to go for like stats, go for CT. Because CT will, well, trust me, you're gonna get. Well, it depends. Well, my opinion is. It depends what gun you're good with. If you're good with the AK, go T. If you're good with the M4, go CT. That's that's like actually my good opinion. I feel like that's more not biased at all. Uh, I feel like just go with the side that you're actually good with. I wouldn't say that's like a tip for CT. I'll say it's just a tip in general for you guys. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to leave a thumbs up and also to subscribe for some more content. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.